What's up, Jamers? It's the one James, and today we are doing another AI-generated magic card video. You seem to like it the first time, so we're back at it, doing it again. If you like this type of video, please feel free to give this video a like to help it reach some more people, and subscribe to the channel in order to get uh, some more of these. I already did one in the past, and we're doing one right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Start with the first card. The first card right now is going to click Forge That Spell. All right, this first spell is Pepper Smoke. One in a red for an instant. As an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. Wait, that's just Dead the Dispute. That doesn't make a treasure token. Interesting. Uh, I guess Dead the Dispute also can sacrifice a treasure or another artifact, so strictly worse than that. But in red, that's not black. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good. I like this. Uh, the... Flavor text here is the effect lasts as long as the prisoner held in its spell's realm remains on the battlefield. Interesting. Pepper Smoke is a name that is really good. I like the name. Next up is Mage Bane Commander. It's two mana, one one human wizard. When Mage Bane Commander enters the battlefield, if you control another creature with power two or less, draw a card. Oh my goodness. This could be good in wizards. It could be good in humans. Um. I mean, this isn't strictly draw a card, but I think it does have human and wizard synergies, of course. Um, the end of the world is no place for the most ambitious. This seems like it's it would be like the upper end of a card that you would always want in draft, but it could make its way into playability in, in standard or some other constructed set. Next up, Repay the Kind. Two and a black for an instant. Return target creature card from your giver to your hand. If it's a creature, put it on the battlefield. <laughs> Return a creature from grave to hand if it's a creature put on the battlefield. Uh, okay. Well, makes sense. I guess this would work if there's a modal double face card in the future. Maybe there is already one. So if you see this in the, if you see this card, um, make sure to post in the comments what you think. But a modal double face card that is a creature in the graveyard, but not a creature anywhere else. I don't know what that could be. But you can return the creature in your graveyard to your hand, and then it's not a creature. Then you wouldn't put it on the battlefield. But if it is, you put it on the battlefield. <laughs> but uh, as an instant, free mana, revive a creature from the graveyard is absolutely bananas. And uh, wow, this could probably just be the best one we go over today. The flavor text is, only the good of the god will ever be of any account. Kim Brokos Prophet. Wow. Next up is Grim Step. This one is a land. Tap to... Uh, uh, birds? Uh, 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 what? Oh, umbrellas? Oh, uh, um, bigger umbrella. Uh, Enter battlefield tapped. Tap it to add black mana. A four and a black and tap it and sacrifice it. Search library for a creature card with lesser mana value. Put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. I'm assuming it's lesser mana value than five. Put it on the battlefield. Okay, search your library for a creature with four or less mana value, I'm going to say. Put it on the battlefield and shuffle? I mean, a land that taps for black that also searches something to put on the battlefield is broken. There's no perfect answer, but a rule in the sandworm text suggests that a seed can be opened for every seed it will produce. I like this card. Oh my, I would play the heck out of this. Oh my gosh. Thank. Cabal Infantry, two and a black for a 3-3 human soldier. When Cabal in Infantry enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you discard a card. Okay, so I guess it's like in a self-sacrifice, self-discard deck, maybe? Uh, not good at all. <laughs> definitely, definitely a one out of five on this one. Uh, my general was a brilliant strategist, but in the end, only the general understood the potential of what we were made to be. Afari Keldon Priest. Ooh, Triton Blast. That's such a good name. Four and a blue for an instant. Exile target creature. Return that card to the battlefield under zone control at the beginning of the next end step. So it's flicker, but you can exile any creature on the board, including your opponents. I mean, we have something similar to that, right? We already have Touch the Spirit Realm, and that's a channel ability, and that's only two mana, so this card is really bad. 
Uh, its wings are black, its rattle is a rusty lock, and its screeching is the wailing of the gale. I can definitely see this in some kind of draft pack, though. Beacon of Nightmares is a one and a black 2 2 vampire. Beacon of Nightmares can't block. Okay. Two and a black, sacrifice another creature, gain life equal to the sacrificed creature's toughness. I could actually see this card seeing play. Like, you, some, sometimes some of these cards just will not see play ever, but I could definitely see this card seeing play. Two mana, two, two, can't block. Hey, uh, some number of mana, sacrifice a creature, gain life. Yeah, I can definitely see this card being play, uh, being made. I don't know if it sees play, except for like in a dedicated like standard power level vampire deck, but I, I like this card. Uh, your flesh is in the grasp of a god, and I will take it. Next up, Urborg Skullhorn is a two mana artifact that you can pay one and tap it to add black and red. Isn't that already? An, an artifact? Isn't there a mana artifact that already says one? It's like it's like Rakdo Signet, right? But Orborg Skullhorn is definitely a better name for Rakdo Signet. Uh, to wit, the day of life of the Carrion Crow, a bountiful feeder. The Infinite Insight Unholy Grave Scavenge. <laughs> Phenaxa Eldrazi Spellbomb. It's, it just says draw a card. <laughs> well, uh, so if it's a spell bomb, that means it's like a one mana artifact because all the spell bombs are one mana, I think. But it just says draw a card and it counts as a spell bomb, also counts as an Eldrazi card, also counts as an artifact, I think. It doesn't say it's an artifact, it's a Phenaxa, whatever that is. But listen, it says draw a card, that means control decks have to play it, so here we are. Um, the flavor text is Garenbrig. Oh, is this like half green? Garenbrig, Sanctum of the Prophecy's Edge. Can't see the spell's power and can't have it enter the battlefield. Wait, does that mean this card just doesn't enter the battlefield? Hmm, interesting. Which we'll never know. If you have any ideas about this card, feel free to mention that in the comments. Another blue card, another 2 mana 1-1. One, one. Bergman's Disciple. Human Wizard again. This is our second 2 mana 1-1 one, one Human Wizard. When Vernon's Disciple enters the battlefield, put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Alright, so we're getting this um, mono blue human wizard 1-1 one, one archetype going. You play this first, you put a creature on top of your library, and then you play the other one second, and that one like draws you a card. You had a 1-1 one, one wizard, the first one we looked at. Listen, we have an archetype going here. We have, we ha it's, it's going to be viable, I promise you. Uh, the flavor text is, Nylia is born of chaos. She cannot be contained. Enclave of the Lords, one in a white two-two human cleric. I love these names. Uh, shout out, shout out to the names. AI is doing some good stuff with these names. Whenever Conclave of the Lords attacks, exile target creature card from a graveyard. Um. Okay. Not as good as Sun Gold Sentinel because Sun Gold Sentinel has other abilities and also is two mana three-two and also exiles things from the graveyard when it enters the battlefield or attacks. But in the common slot, in a draft, we're getting the picture here, could be playable. I mean, I feel like most of the cards that we've seen so far could actually be in a real set, which is interesting, because that doesn't happen all the time with this. The flavor text is, it took the reverence of every army and every nation. All will stand united in our defense. Here we go. Anointed Redeemer. It's one and a white for a 2-2, two -two, Human Cleric. Protection from black. When anointed redeemer enters the battlefield, exile target creature card from a graveyard. Okay. One in a white, exile anointed redeemer. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control until end of Oh my gosh, I love this card. The, fl the flavor is there. The anointed being protection from black is there. Exiling creatures from graveyard is there usually there's a isn't there's i think there's another protection from black creature that also exiles things from graveyard you have to just like pay mana to do it it was in standard like five years ago but uh wow and then you can pay pay two mana including a white to make a token that's a creature a copy of a creature you control that's like i mean i love this card this card's in, this card's amazing i'll play this in every human's deck i don't even care i'll play this in every cleric's deck this card is good i like it to be a rare I don't know what symbol that is, if it's, for, if it's rare, but I want it to be a rare. 
Baron wasn't so lucky. <laughs> if you aren't familiar with Baron, Baron is the three mana creature that bounces a creature from either player's board to their hand, and if it's your own creature, or maybe it's non land permanent, draw a card. But Baron wasn't so lucky on this day. But the thing is, Baron's a blue creature, it's not black, so a little bit. There's a little bit more to the story than meets the eye. Remorseful step, another land. One and a whoa, one and a white for an enchantment. Okay, this is not a land, just kidding. Uh, when Remorseful Step enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus one plus one till end of turn. And it just stays as a white enchantment on the battlefield. Um, I guess this is for white devotion decks and decks that care about having permanence on the battlefield. But um interesting design space for sure. After a minute, every morning, the rebels walked the land, leading the renegades into battle. Goodness, they should they should have used that flavor text on a, a better card. That card's a zero out of five. Oh my gosh, this this name, Lightning Wind. Oh please, please let the effect be good. Three and a red for an instant. Lightning Wind deals three damage to any target. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like this isn't even, even Lightning Wind. This is like, this is like, uh, whatever is less severe than wind. Like, this is like a, a, a lightning ripple of, of air. This is like, I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. It's like, like the worst lightning bolt I've ever seen. But, um, yeah, I, I, mean, I guess wind is less severe than a bolt, but whatever is less severe than wind, that's what this is. Goodness. When lightning is strong, it can be a metaphor for a roaring fire. <laughs> oh my gosh, one out of five. Death Wavers. One and a black for a sorcery. Discard a creature card. Return Tucker creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Exile the top card of your library. It will endure. <laughs> so you, wow. Okay, discard a creature. Return a creature from grave to hand. Sure. And you just exile the top card of your library? I, I guess. Sure, we'll take it. Terrible card, but we take those. Alright, and now we actually have to see for our last card what lightning bolt, what typing lightning bolt into this actually makes the card as. And hopefully it's not deal 3 damage to any target. Now let's go ahead and forge a spell named lightning bolt, and we'll see what happens here. Hopefully it's something cool. Please do something cool. Definitely not. Please don't make me four mana. Wait, what? What? Wait, hold on. Is that what? Wait, what? Am I Wait. Okay, I need to check a different card. I need to type in another card. Is it supposed to be the same thing? I, I, need, I need to check a different card. Okay. Let me know in the comments if you do this more often and you type in actual names of cards in here if it actually does the exact same card with a different art. Some bullets, most notably the javelins, can be said to be both haste and speedier than their targets. But let's check another card that's a little bit more ambiguous. Let's check out um what what, what other card could be like wow, um counterspell. Don't be two mana counter spell, please. See, it's not exactly counter spell. One in a blue, instant. Counter spell deals one damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Oh my gosh, that's exactly the same card as uh, um, Spike Field Hazard. <laughs> that's Spike Field Hazard. If you want to live forever, take solitude. One minute at a time, one step at a time. Bogiv Goblin Raider. Well, there you have it. We have Lightning Bolt typed in here. Exact Gave us exactly one mana red instant deal three damage to any target. Well, you can't make that up. Anyways, give this video a like if you want to reach this to more people or you like the video uh, genuinely. And also, that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, peace.